Welcome back. It's been a while. As you may have noticed, my last video was taken down. We'll see that back up coming up soon, next few weeks. So keep an eye out for that. But we finally have one of the rarest bikes around, which is the Trek Roscoe 8. So we've got the Trek Roscoe 8 with us. This is the 2022 model. We are here in June. We have finally got our first ones and they are very nice. As good as you kind of hoped. Let's get into why this might be the perfect bike for you and some of the reasons you should consider it as well as this overview per spec. Overall, the Trek Roscoe 8 has seen a huge change this past year. The redesign is completely, it's hardly worth calling it the Trek Roscoe. If you've ridden or seen a Trek Roscoe from previous years, kind of throw that all in the garbage. If you've rode the Trek Roscoe 6 from 2022, get rid of that. This is a whole different bike. Geometry has changed. This is seat tube angle, head tube angle, suspension travel has changed. So we've gone from a small 120 mil travel, you know, pretty entry level up to 140 mil. This has that RockShox 35 gold. So it is a good quality fork. It's definitely not the highest one out there. It is air controlled. So you're able to customize that for your own weight, a lot easier than a spring would be. Obviously with springs, you can very minimally adjust them. With air, you're setting this up to your weight, which can change, which can vary, and you can update that on the fly, on the go, as long as you have the appropriate shock pump. Drivetrain wise, not a crazy change from previous models. It is still with that SRAM GX model. So it has been bumped up a little bit, but nothing too crazy. It is still the 50 tooth version. So you can see on the back end here, it's nothing crazy with that big 52. It's not that crazy with that 52. So you're still gonna be able to climb really well. I have the 52 on mine and it does seem a little overkill sometimes. The 50 tooth is really good low range, good top speed, good size front chain ring. So you get relatively high travel speeds if you are commuting, but Obviously you are limited to how fast you can go while commuting on this or doing some kind of gravel grindery stuff. Tire size wise, they've removed that 2.8 inch wide, 27 and a half gone with that. And they are now at that 29 inch rim. This has a big beefy 2.6 inch wide tire. It is gonna have a lot of traction. You'll be able to run low, low pressures, especially because it's got tubeless built in. Straight out of the box, the fluid goes in here. There is no tubes, so that cuts this weight just under that 30 pound mark, just. Brake wise, definite improvement. You go into the four piston calipers, that's the 4100s, with the three finger hand controls to do it. Not my favorite, but they work. There's nothing wrong with them. It's more like a preference. And once you've touched that XT kind of feeling material, it's hard to come back down a little bit. So it's a little bit of a, if you've had higher end than this, you may notice it if you've not had anything like this or you're coming up to this, it's a fantastic feel. It's got good control. Just not a lot of customizability or tunability with the reach or any of that kind of stuff. You have a minor amount, but it's, it's not super great. Braking power wise, tons of power. Those four piston brakes are gonna stop you really well. Good size rotors, so brake fade is not a huge issue here. Overall, if you're looking for a bike which will just absolutely shred trail, this is it. If the previous Roscoe's ones which could do any trail and have fun doing it and be a lot more playful than say an Excalibur, this now competes with being the fastest bike on the trail. If you're doing more longer distance, cross country kind of flowy flat stuff, the Excalibur is still the bike for you. But if you're looking to just be the fastest on the overall trail side of things, this may be the bike you should be looking for. It still rides in a relatively comfortable position. You're not super aggressive on the terrain on handlebars. It does feel really good to roll on. You could commute on this. It's not the worst position in the world. Wrote the Fuel EXs and those are still a little more aggressive. So this isn't an exact mimic as I once thought they would be. This is its own geometry, which is still a little more toned down, easier to feel, easier to control and not as aggressive, but that's gonna give you a bit more control and balance over the back end because you don't have that rear suspension that a Fuel X model would have. Instead, you get all the control and an easier, comfier position because of that. Overall, I really like this bike. It is up there in the price range at $2,800. That is the same price as what a Fuel EX eight would have been about 2012 so about 10 years ago 
Seems a little weird, but I mean, we're getting the dropper post, you're getting that 12 speed, bigger, stronger wheels, way cleaner settings, you know, all the cables integrated. Everything about this bike is 2022, and it feels like a 2022 bike. I would highly recommend this if you are looking to really excel on the trails, you are graduating from the Trek Marlin, the entry level hardtail, or you really want to experience the trails hard, fast, I mean, you have nothing, this is a great starting point. The Roscoe 7 could be the king of all that. We will be getting some of those in soon, so keep an eye out for that video. Otherwise, this is a nice bike. Like, this is light. This has no feeling to it. It's very easy to get on and off. Low sweep step. It feels very comfortable. And like this geometry is very good for me. I'm about 5'11". This is a medium, so I would possibly choose the medium large. But overall, this feels really secure for me. There's only one last thing to do and take it down some stairs. All right, well, hopefully one day we'll have one of these in stock available to take out to trails. Obviously with only one left, it's gonna be pretty hard to do, but get down here and check it out or ask me any questions online below. Love to hear your questions. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck.